Hey everybody, welcome back to the Stuff of Legend. My name is Dilo and I've got another video for you guys today. It is another fan casting video where I'm going to be trying to find the perfect actor to play Johnny Storm, the Human Torch for the MCU's Fantastic Four. So we're coming at you guys again with some really cool actor choices in my opinion. Obviously this whole thing is my opinion, but I wanted to check with you guys and see how you felt about these things. Make sure to leave comments down below and let me know how you feel about these selections. So I'm gonna just start out. I'm gonna shift over to the other screen. As you guys are fully aware already, we have uh, Chris Evans, Michael B. Jordan. Um, there's a couple others that have played um, the Human Torch in say like the superhero movie, which was you know a comedy. It's kind of like a, a rip on, on superhero films. And then there's also Brian Austin Green who played him uh, in the Fantastic Four in back in the old days. So we have um, honestly the best of all of these has been Chris Evans by a long shot. Uh, Michael B. Jordan, I feel bad for the guy, incredibly talented actor. However, um, he was not in any way, shape, or form right for the role of the Human Torch. This is my opinion. I know there's a lot of people that like him for the Human Torch. It doesn't fit. It never fit. It's not a cohesive story to have siblings that are, you know, like one of them is black, one of them is white, and you don't even address, are they half siblings? Is one of them adopted? It's not, you know, like you've got to have a cohesive story that makes sense. You're not suspending our disbelief here if you don't at least explain the situation. And in the comics, there was none of that. They're full siblings. And so it was just very startling to a lot of people when it's like, why are you casting, you know, make them both black. Make them both black if you're going to go black. If you're going to race bend a character, that's totally, you know, do what you, do what you got to do. But, you know, and it just, honestly, if you're going to pick someone, pick someone funny. <laughs> pick someone that's got comedy chops. They totally butchered the character. Anyway, I could go on and on about Fant Four Stick. I'm going to try to make this fast. So he, the Human Torch is, uh, you know, a fire-based character, obviously. Um, he is the little brother to Susan. He's kind of like the, the kid in the, in the Fantastic Four family. Reed is kind of like the dad. Sue's the mom. She's also the sister, the older sister, big sister. She And she plays the mom role to Johnny, who is younger and supposed to be notably younger, but at least younger in personality. He hasn't officially grown up yet, even though he is an adult. Um, or, you know, the MCU might choose to do him a little bit younger. That's totally fine. Totally fine, because then he'd be friends with Spider-Man. We all want to see that. So anyway, uh, let's jump into my first set of characters. First up, we have Zac Efron, and Zac Efron is uh, 31 years old, five foot eight. He is almost everybody's top pick for uh, Johnny Storm, the Human Torch. He is, um, like I said, he is five foot eight, which is good stature, but it's also not super tall, and that's going to help Ben and Reed stand out a lot more. And even though he is uh, Zac Efron is 31 years old, which is not super old. It's younger than basically all of my picks for Susan Storm. And oh my gosh, is this guy uh, everybody's favorite pick right now for uh, the Human Torch. I mean, there's a couple others that are out there that are really prominent, but I wasn't picking him to try to be mainstream. I wasn't picking him to try to agree with people. I, I love Zac Efron. I think this guy is hilarious i think he's really funny but he's also man he's also very masculine he's also macho and if you're gonna find someone to kind of not not try to be or like recreate but if you want something along the same vibe as the chris evans human torch which was by the way amazing i think that zach efron's your guy i think that he's he's caught he's great at playing cocky he's also great at playing really funny and playful and I think that's going to be something you're going to need. Those are the two primary you know, dynamics that you're going to want for Johnny Storm. You're going to want someone that's hot-headed. You're going to want someone that you know, rushes into battle. Um, he needs to dial it back a little bit, learn some restraint, control, self-control. Um, you know, Respecting others is not his strong point, especially Ben. Um, and I think that would be really fun. I think he is the guy you want to play the Human Torch. I'm not going to linger too much on this. A lot of people have picked him as their casting for the Human Torch. Uh, this one is a particularly really awesome. I really like that picture. People have matched him in there with a few of these other castings like John Krasinski, Emily Blunt. 
Um, I really love it. I think that's great. So I'm going to jump ahead. Next up, we have Sam Claflin, and he is 32 years of age. He's 5'11". People love this guy. I mean, he's Pirates of the Caribbean. He's Hunger Games, Adrift, Me Before You. Um, he's 5'11", which is taller, um, but he's also 32 years of age, one year older than Zac Efron. And uh, I think he is awesome, uh, awesome as a pick for this. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what people are showing off for this guy. He might be the most picked actor for the role of the Human Torch, possibly. There's a lot of guys that are picking a lot of different actors. You'll see a lot of them on my list, but it's just because these are genuinely good picks for the role. He looks the part. He's got the blonde thing already going for him. Um, he can play that cocky, arrogant jerk, which is great, but he can also just be fun um, and kind of funny. You see a lot more of that in the romantic roles that he plays. Um, where he's a little bit more like playful, a little bit flir flirtatious, which is kind of a little bit of a balancing act. You don't really want too much flirty. You want a little bit more of the playful, but let's just go ahead and show off what some people are doing. This is not a great Photoshop, but it kind of just shows you what people are thinking here. Um, this one, again, not a great Photoshop, but it shows you what people are thinking there. And so um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you, like this one is just a side-by-side -side comparison. This was him in the Hunger Games. And then you see him um, uh, down below a little bit more. People have like their own their own selections for this. But anyway, so I'm not gonna waste too much time on there. Everyone loves Sam Claflin. I think he's great for the role. He's funny. Um, he's macho. He's blonde. He's you know he's just he looks the part. I think he would play the part nicely. Not as I don't think he would play the part as nice as Zach, but he definitely looks the part. So let's keep moving. Next up we have Lucas Till. Lucas Till is 28 years of age, five foot ten. Definitely looks the part. He was from X-Men First Class. He was in MacGyver. Um, come off of the uh, the Disney Channel. So he knows how to do some like playful. He can play the like the pretty boy. Um, but he's also just a really good actor. And he's been proving himself more and more um, as he's kind of gone further and further out of Disney. Very much like Zac Efron. Both of them originated on the Disney Channel. And uh, both of them have grown quite a bit. Both of them are very impressive actors. Uh, one of my favorite parts of X-Men First Class actually and uh, I really like this guy, 5'10", not super tall, not super short, right in the pocket. Uh, national average, I think, is 5'10", five, five, or something like that. 28 years of age, he's very young, um, but that would go really nicely with some of the younger castings for, like, Susan. Um, so that would be really nice. Now, let's go ahead and check him in the Fantastic Four. Let's see what people have to say about him as the Fantastic Four. Yep, everybody's already kind of cross comparing him from his Havoc role um, over here to his Johnny Storm, the Human Torch, what people want him to play. And so uh, <laughs> here's a funny image of him as MacGyver. That's really funny, I like that. Not a ton of like images for him. I mostly see this on Instagram. A lot of people choose him for this on Instagram, not so much just on a Google search. But you can tell that, you know, based on just this here, um, Chris Pine, that's an odd choice. That's very old for for that role. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just keep moving along because not a lot to say, but he looks the part. He could pull it off. I really like this guy. Give him another chance. Marvel Disney, he deserves it. Next up, Dylan O'Brien. So Dylan O'Brien is five foot ten. He's 27 years of age. Um, and he is... Uh, Really, really powerful actor. He's coming up uh, quite a bit from The Maze Runner. He's been in Bumblebee. He actually voiced Bumblebee in the recent film. Um, American Assassin. Uh, again, like I mentioned, you know the whole series of The Maze Runners surrounding this guy. Very cool guy. Funny as heck. I had him on my list for Iceman in the X-Men. But if that doesn't work out, I definitely see him playing Human Torch. And it's kind of funny. A lot of the... I actually had to fight myself because a lot of the picks that I have for Iceman translate for a lot of the picks that I would have chosen for Spider-Man and same with Human Torch. In my head, those three are kind of like, they're very close. The only thing that's different for them is motivations. And uh, you know, obviously their powers and skill sets, but they have different motivations for the most part. You could interchange the actors very easily between those three roles, in my opinion. They would obviously have to play them a little bit differently, but I think the gist of what you need from an actor um, is shared among those three roles, and I really do um, like Dylan O'Brien for this role. 
I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what people are thinking here. There was a, a little bit more of this. Um, a lot of people see, look, you see here, people are choosing him for Spider-Man. Um, you know, Dylan O'Brien, I think, would be really good in this role. But he's not, this is one of the things that is about me. I'm very aesthetic. I like the looks. I like to make sure that everybody looks like they should from the comics or at least something related to the source material. Um, I get it. Like, if you're going to do, like, Sam Jackson as, say, uh, Nick Fury, it's okay. They already had someone steal his likeness in the comics and, and then create a Sam Jackson-esque version of Nick Fury, which is why Sam Jackson was cast to play Nick Fury in the MCU is because they like that so much. And obviously, if you can have Sam Jackson in your franchise, it's going to draw a lot of attention, which is great, and it worked out nicely. But for him, he would have to go blonde, in my opinion. I don't think, you, you, I don't think anyone should do a not-blonde uh, Johnny Storm. It just In my head, it doesn't work. Um, and so I would really like to see that if they're going to do that, they might as well go blonde. So, um, that's what I would like to see next up on the list is Jamie bell. So we've got Jamie bell here. He's five foot seven and he is, um, let me see. How old is this guy? 32 years of age. However, you guys already know that he was cast to play Ben Grimm in the Fant four stick movie, the Fox Fant four stick movie, which happened in 2015, if I'm not mistaken, um, but this guy is so, he's such a good actor. He's really good. Uh, Adventures of Tintin did a good, good job. That was a little bit older and it's a voice acting role for, for the most part. But this guy uh, has really been showing himself. He is going to be Rocket Man in 2019. He is going to explode. This guy is going to become a very, very big actor. People are going to start to know his name. And I think that he deserves a chance to play a role he is much better suited for. He would do well as Johnny Storm the Human Torch. He really would. I think that he was drastically miscast when he when they were giving him the role of Ben Grimm. That should not have happened. <laughs> that was a mistake. And it's not his fault. Casting, you know, he's going to take whatever role he's, he's given. Um, I think that that was just poor casting on the casting director's part. They should have put him as the Human Torch. That would have worked out way better. So, um, put him in that role. Give him a second chance. Recycle that actor. We know that Marvel is loving the recasting of all these human torches they took the original human torch or not the original but chris evans human torch made him captain america they took the second human torch which was um uh then becoming eric killmonger that worked out swimmingly i would say take this guy and put him into the role of the mcu human torch he was uh from the fant four stick movie so you're recycling another fantastic four actor don't waste that talent he's he's super talented Put him back. I, that's what I think. That's what you should do. So if we show him as Fantastic Four, yeah, that's not even going to work because everybody's all the images that are from a Google search are just going to be him as the thing, which sucks. Actually, the thing was pretty cool. I liked the CGI. I liked what they did there. It was just misused, underused, and I think it could have been a lot better. So now we are crossing into the bonus picks. So Jamie Bell was my fifth selection for the role of the Human Torch. Now we're back to Garrett Headland, who is six foot one. He's big. And 34 years of age, Garrett Hedlund is the oldest and biggest, if I'm not mistaken, person on my list for uh, Johnny Storm, the Human Torch. And so it's a little bit outside of what I want for the role, but he does look the part and people really like this guy. He was in Pan, he was in Country Strong, he was in Four Brothers, Tron Legacy, um, really good actor. Um, I think if you're gonna have a bonus pick, if you're gonna do a much older Fantastic Four, say they were trapped somewhere, mirror dimension from Doctor Strange or perhaps they were you know just lost in space for a while um, if this if you want to go older you should do Garrett Hedlund for the role of um, of the Human Torch that is what I would say to that um, let me just go ahead and show you guys what he would look like in the Fantastic Four so a lot of people are picking Garrett Hedlund uh, for the thing which does make sense he is a bigger guy um, a lot tougher he could do that but if I want if I'm doing Ben Grimm I want Ben Grimm almost the same age as Reed and I want Reed old so that's what that's why I didn't pick him for um, the thing but you know Chris Evans wasn't a particularly small or youthful guy really um, and they picked him for the Human Torch I think it would be kind of the same scenario here obviously Chris Evans is you know really really funny 
But if you were going to do, you know, something that was a little bit like softer on the comedy and a little bit more into the realm of like action or adventure, a little bit more serious, maybe more dramatic, Garrett Hedlund's your guy. So that's what I'm, I think there. Next up, we have Josh Hutcherson. So this guy, 26 years of age, pretty young, 5'7", kind of small. Not super small, but, you know, 5'7 is a, a good height, but still on the shorter end, which would give you a better contrast with, say, Ben Grimm or Reed Richards. This would be really nice. He's from He does future uh, a show called Future Man right now. Um, and uh, The Hunger Games, Journey to the Mysterious Island, Bridge to Terabithia. This guy is... What I think one of the more underrated actors of our day and age. He's really funny. Um, I really like him as a dramatic actor. In my opinion, he was one of the better parts of The Hunger Games. A lot of people didn't like him. I liked him a lot. And um, I think that he would be really good. You got to go blonde, though. That's my that's my stipulation is if you're going to have the human torch, you got to go blonde. That's my thing. And so um, he's actually my age. I'm actually 26 right now, but also born in 1992. We're just a few months apart. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what people are seeing here. A lot of people got these uh, these images up. I also like Dave Franco, but I I was trying to not pick all the same actors for my Iceman and for my for my Human Torch, just because I don't want you guys to think I'm being lazy. Um, I genuinely do like that, but I'm you know I'm trying here for you guys. So Josh Hutcherson um, as the Human Torch. This is pretty cool. I like this. Josh looks great. I think Josh would be uh, fantastic. Human Torch, and I keep using the word fantastic. I sound so white, don't I? It's okay, not a big deal. Anyway, so I'm gonna move ahead. My final pick for Johnny Storm the Human Torch is William Mosley. Now this one might catch you by surprise. I'm pretty sure there's like no, and I mean like zero fan art for this one. So I'm not even really gonna bring it up, but you guys might say, this guy looks kind of familiar. That's because he's from the Chronicles of Narnia. So he was in the Chronicles of Narnia. He was in The Little Mermaid 2018. Um, and he's in The Royals, which is a show, a, a British show, 2015 to 2018. He is a British actor. Uh, when I say British, I mean English. And, um, you know, he is 5'10", not super big, 31 years old, right in that pocket, pretty close to all the actor, actresses I picked for Susan. And he definitely looks the part. Um, he kind of played like a struggling leader in the Chronicles of Narnia, but I really enjoyed that series and I really liked him playing, I think his name was Peter. Um, but really talented. I don't know if he can do an American accent. I have never heard him attempt that. So if he can't do that, just scratch him off my list, pretend this never happened. However, um, if he could do that, you know, like Tom Holland, I'm, I'm sure that they would just get him a speech coach uh, for the role. I think that he would do really well, and it'd be really nice to see an actor like him reappear um, on this side. A lot of the a lot of the English actors are doing really well right now. Uh, whatever they're teaching them over there, those guys they understand acting and they understand it well. So I would like to see him get another crack at a really cool role over here. And yeah, that would be fun. I I like William Mosley in this. Uh, let me see if there might be any fan art. I don't think there is. But uh, let's just take a look. Nope, 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 nope. There is nothing. No fan art whatsoever. But let me see if I can. There we go. Pretend he's flame down <laughs> instead of flame on. That would. Uh, that looks pretty good. I think that would work. Five ten. What is it? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Look at look at his hair. Human Torch. You got your guy. So if you can uh, get this guy an American accent, I think we got something going on here. So that was just kind of more of a fun pick for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and recap everything that we went over. So first up, we have uh, Zac Efron at 5'8", 31 years of age. We have Sam Claflin, 5'11", 32 years of age. We have Lucas Till, 5'10", 28 years of age. We have Dylan O'Brien, 5'10", 27 years of age. We have Jamie Bell, 5'7", 32 years of age. Then in the bonus picks, we have Garrett Hedlund, 6'1", 34 years of age. We have Josh Hutcherson, 5'7", 26 years of age. We have William Mosley, 5'10", 31 years of age. So um, I know I had a lot of picks that are mainstream. I had a couple of them that were not so mainstream or maybe that were being offered up as you know, like selections for other, you know, like the thing or whatever. Um, I, 
I see things the way I see them, usually because of aesthetic and you know, like how, how things look visually. I am very big on that. And so if, you know, if you guys have a suggestion for an actor that maybe I didn't think of, put that in the comments down below because I want to hear about that. I want to talk to you guys about that. I will comment back. I always do. And then if you guys um, liked one of my selections, let me know which one was your favorite because I want to know if I'm totally crazy or if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing as well. So um, I know there wasn't a lot of fan art for some of my selections. However, um, I know that on Instagram, there's a lot of guys out there that are savages that are really talented fan casters and they have some of this art and visual comparisons up on their sites as well. There will be um, a lot of a lot more videos to come regarding fan casting the MCU Fantastic Four, and then uh, some very special videos on the way as well that are in the works, in the projects, some collaborations. You guys should stay tuned for those. Um, I think it's going to be a really, really cool time. So anyway, that was the video, fan casting Johnny Storm, the Human Torch. Um, I, in the MCU. I'm really excited about these and my selections. And again, let me know if I'm crazy if you like what you saw. If you like what you saw, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Give this video a thumbs up. Click that button down below. Also, subscribe if you haven't. And please turn on notifications so you can be alerted right away when I go live next time. Or you know, if, if I want to hang out with you guys and you guys want to chat and be a part of the video, we can do that as well. But you got to turn on notifications. Otherwise, you're going to miss it. So um, I wanted to just remind you of that. Leave your comments. I love talking with you guys. And then also just share this video with a friend if you haven't already. Make sure to let them know that you have your selections as well. And then there are maybe one or two out of the list that I've presented to you guys that you appreciate here. This is all about dialogue. This is all about uh, getting the fan community uh, together to just hash out some ideas and uh, get this thing going before the Fox deal closes. That's really important to me is just to have these conversations and hopefully Marvel might actually see these if we can get these things going. So that would be fun. Uh, you know, tall order, a lot of wishing going on, you know, <laughs> toss a coin in a well for me if you uh, remember. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend. Hey guys, D-Lo here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And remember to share this video with all of your nerd friends. I know you got them, and you know who they are. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about this discussion. Let me know what you would like to see me do a video on next. Subscribe to the channel because you're a legend, and we have that in common. Also be sure to turn on notifications to be notified right away when I upload my next video, or so that you can be alerted when I go live next time. That way you'll never miss a thing. Check out the other videos on the channel so that we can have a discussion on all your favorite movies and TV topics. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.